Hey guys, Exitionic here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install to Final Micro 1.7.2, and we're going to be installing it using Forge. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is go in the first link in the description, and that should take you to Micro Forge Downloads. And for you, if you see 1.7.2 recommended, make sure you download that by hitting the installer button right here. But for me, in my case right now, it's not fully been released, it's currently in beta, so... Yeah, uh, I'm just going to get the latest version, but if there is a recommended version, make sure you download that instead. Because that will be a lot more stable, and it will not crash. Unless you do something wrong. So yeah, to download it, you hit install it, it takes you to add fly, wait 5 seconds, it says please wait 5 seconds, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then hit skip add. I'm not going to actually click it, because I've, I've already got it downloaded, so... The next thing you're going to want to do once you've downloaded Forge is go on the second link in the description and that should take you to Minecraft Forms where you're going to download Optifine. So, as you can see right now, update to 1.7.2 is in progress, 98% complete. So, that's going to be completed soon. Ho hopefully when you watch this, this will be f fully released and so will Forge. So, there will n not be any crashing. But, right now, what you're going to want to do is just hit the download button right here. And it was the same thing, add fly, wait 5 seconds, and click skip add, and it downloads. So, I'm not going to actually download it because I already have downloaded it. So, once you download both files, drag them onto your desktop or somewhere where you can access them and, and move them around to a different location. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is, well, when you've downloaded both files, is open up Forge. It should open up like this, Mod System Installer, but if it doesn't, um, Click it and then right click and then select open with Java TM platform SC binary. Open it with that and boom, my system installer. If you don't have um, Java installed, just Google Java and actually, I might even leave a, a link in the description to make it easier for you. Alright, so just open it up and hit install client. OK, boom, it's been installed now has been installed what we're going to do is we're going to open up minecraft now basically well, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to set up forge and, and to do that we have to select profile forge it's going to ask us to log in nope just hit play and then play again as you can see ready to play minecraft 1.7.2 forge so that means you know forge is actually installed and, and now we're going to actually set it up so yep uh, and you have to do this because as you can see, give it a second, there we go, Minecraft Forge, free mods loaded, we go on mods, and yep, it's loaded. So yeah, now we can quit game, and now we're going to actually install Optifine. So to do that, we're going to go on start, and we're going to type in, actually no, we're not going to go on start. Hold the Windows key on your keyboard, and hit R, and as you can see, run comes up, this is for Windows 7 only, I think. Maybe for Vista or Windows 8, I have no idea. So to install it, what you're going to want to do is um, hit percent app data percent. You want to type that in, then slash dot Minecraft, and then hit OK. And as you can see, it takes you straight to roaming. And one good thing about this is when you hit Windows R again, or the start button on your keyboard, it's so it's already saved. So you just hit Enter, and boom, your Minecraft directory is loaded. And this makes it very easy if you are constantly installing new mods and you know all sorts of things. So so it's, it saves you some time. And what I just did is I dragged in Optifine from my desktop into the mods folder, and now it is installed. And we're going to launch Minecraft, and I'm going to actually show you that it is installed. Because both mods are currently in beta and Optifine isn't compatible with Forge, there are going to be many crashes. But hopefully in a few days' time. Everything will be sorted, and there will n and there won't be any crashes. Three mods installed. No, it's Alliance. Four mods installed. All right. Some lovely music playing in the background. So we're gonna go on single player. I'm going to create a brand new world. I'm just hoping for it not to crash. If it does, I I don't know. Just I'll, I'll try to reinstall it. Oh. Okay. Uh, I can easily see that it has been installed since. For some reason, better grass is enabled. Hmm. That's weird. The FPS seems to... Oh my god. Yeah, there... If Optifine also increases your FPS by quite a bit. Also, there are a bit, a few lag spikes. I'm not sure why. But that doesn't really matter. So, oh. Uh, uh, just a warning. Because both mods are in beta, don't click escape. That's 
the only bug I've really noticed so far. When you, when you install them and when you're actually inside of a Minecraft world and playing, avoid hitting the escape button if you want to change the settings on Minecraft, uh, not Minecraft, on Optifine. If you want to change the Optifine settings, make sure you do it while not being on a world. Alright, so I hope this has helped you guys install it. And thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out. And I have some great content on my channel, so if you have some spare time, please go check that out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.